Hi, I'm Phil McCaffrey, and this lesson for SAT, ACT, and GRE is about triangles. The question at hand is, what's the greatest possible area of a triangle with uh, two different lengths? And the simplest answer here is that the greatest possible area is when there is a right triangle. And I'll demonstrate it to you real quickly. If I'm given the sides 12 and 7, and I have a right triangle, then that's one half the base times the height. And that's one half of 12 times 7, which is 6 times 7, which we all know is 42. So the area of this triangle is 42. If I take the same triangle and I change the length, or change the position, of the other leg, notice what happens. So now I still have that same 12, 7 triangle, but the height is defined as a perpendicular line from the vertex to the base. So my height is now shortened. Notice the shortened distance here. So my height in this case might be, say, 5. So I've got 1 half of 12 times 5. The area of this triangle would only be <laughs> 60, 30. <laughs> half of 60, 30. So 42 is greater than 30. Let's take a look at the next one. And what is the greatest possible area of a uh, triangle with uh, lengths of 22 and 6? Let's just erase that line. So 22 and 6, give me a big 22 and a short 6, the greatest possible angle. Hey, check this out. Smartboard has this shape recognition pen, so I could have drawn my triangle like this, and it pops into a little triangle. Not too bad, huh? So nice right angle. <laughs> Oops. Let's uh, undo that one. Having too much fun with the smart board. M geek math teacher fun. 22. Almost wrote 12 again. And 6. 1 half of 22 times 6. Half of 22 is 11 times 6 is 66. Anything shorter, if I put a greater angle on this, uh, or lesser angle or a greater angle in both cases I shortened my height or my altitude remember the word altitude that's fair game on the SAT altitude altitude is equal to height and the height of a triangle for one-half base times height is a line segment that is perpendicular to the base from the vertex one last one be really hard, huh, if it's uh, odd numbers. I seriously doubt it's going to be odd numbers, but 13 and 15, well, 13 and 5, it's late at night, been tutoring all day, 13 and 5. Once again, for a quick demo, if I change the sides, change the angle, and I have this triangle here, it's a much smaller area. You can even see it there that this area is much smaller. One half of 13 times 5. One half of uh, 13 is 6.5 and 6.5 times 5 is going to be 32.5. I'm Phil McCaffrey. Happy learning.